Donna, you mentioned uh, uh, the other day about trying to finish stronger and about uh, fo uh, focusing the team on that. How do you think they finished tonight? I, I thought we put 40 minutes, especially from a defensive standpoint. I thought they locked into what we needed. Um, offensively, I mean, we shared the ball. I mean, we had flow, we had rhythm, and uh, I like this. I, I like that we we got at least some of our three pointers to, to fall because they were they were in rhythm. Ty hitting a thousand points. I mean, that's a big milestone for any player, but especially because she's, you know, been such a big part of this program for so long. What does that mean for you? Um, I, I think it's great. You know, I I, I wanted Ty to hit that mark probably two years ago, um, but she's so unselfish. She's uh, the consummate point guard. She's always looking at others and how she could um, get them a shot on the floor. Um, but so I'm, I'm super happy for. Her. I think the sky is the limit. I see out. You know, I think she'll put a you know, probably a lot more points this particular season um, because she's shooting the ball well and she's shooting great shots. How much do you see Leticia improving from game to game of just working with that brace and getting more into the flow of, of college games? Um, I, I thought I thought L.A. in the Maryland game when we didn't play her as much. And the bench has a funny way of speaking to a player. And I thought it spoke to her. You know, that she's got to give us more. She's got to be more impactful on both sides of the ball. So our practices have been a lot better. Um, she's more focused. She's, you know, more active. She's playing through some things as far as just just playing. Um, and she's just getting more experience being out on the floor and knocking rust off. When you think about Ty Harris as a freshman to now, how has she changed? Um, I mean, Ty's always been an old lady, um, meaning, you know, that she's just always in control. Like, you never really see her out of control. Um, I just see her as more mature, more of a, a leader, a vocal leader on and off the court. Um, she's someone that, you know, we, we're, we're, we're trying to get every ounce of her um, her, her last year and, and – helping our youngsters grow up, helping our, our point guards be better point guards. And she's probably the person for them to, for, for, to be the example for our, our younger point guards. So hopefully um, they can bottle up some of the stuff that she's, she's doing every single day, not just in games. And games are important, but in practice. She comes to practice every single day, and she does something a little bit new and different for them to see and and hopefully they're you know they're taking notes so they can they'll have it next year. Don, you've already had two games on the road, one on both, but now you're about to take off for five straight away from home. How do you think a team, especially the freshman, will handle that kind of stretch of back to back to back and nothing at home? Well, I I don't even think they're thinking about it. Quite honestly, I think uh we're the next opponent up. So I think you know, they've, they've probably turned the page because we talked a little more about Clemson and what the rivalry means. Um, no matter what their record is, no matter what sport it is, it's a rivalry. And usually when you play a rivalry, they, they rise up to, you know, whatever level they need to, to play to, to win. The same with us. Right. Aaliyah with another double-double. What's been the key for her consistency to start this year? Oh, I mean, we're, I mean, she's a focal point for us, getting her the ball in the paint, um, you know, but when we don't give her the ball in the paint, she rebounds the basketball. She's been very consistent rebounding the ball. She's been very um, efficient when we've gotten her the ball. Um, she's just a player that understands that she has to impose her will every single time we step on the floor, no matter, no matter what the competition. She doesn't play down to any – any of our competition, she's always going to give 110%. With Ty and Zaya, what about their games makes their chemistry and their chemistry has worked so well together through five games? Well, I think they're, they're growing together. You know, Zai, you know, has taken on the role of being a, you know, the, a shooting guard for us. Um, and I think she's helping, uh, they're, they're helping each other play off each other a little bit better now. I think uh, maybe two weeks ago, Zaya was probably always thinking shot, 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 shot. Now she's, you know, she's utilizing another skill set of hers to pass the ball. I think she got that from Ty. You know, Ty's unselfishness. Um, 
But when they're they're able to put it all together, meaning, you know, have that killer instinct to to shoot it, to call their own number, um, to to make a one more pass, I think it's going to be. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what they're they're able to do. Not just those two, just our entire our entire you know uh, substitution ro rotations are are playing much 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 better. Don, I think this is 20 years of coaching. Obviously, you had a lengthy playing career, too. Ever seen a tech called because of a uniform violation? Yeah, I think we had one. We had one back in Stephanie Mitchell. We had black, we had white. Yeah, they had the camel numbers. I mean, we played the whole season, and that, you know, at postseason, they want to, they want to have the, bring the magnifying glass out. <laughs> So you guys break out a little bit of the zone in the second half. Mm -hmm. I know we talked before how you were really focusing on man-to-man. -man. How do you think they did in the zone? Um, I mean, I, I saw a lot of areas where we need to improve. We haven't, we haven't even practiced it. So um, that's the reason why there were a lot of holes in our zone. And we, we, we actually played L.A. at the three um, just to see what kind of presence that our, our, our big lineup brings to us and she just played out of position and she didn't do bad but we definitely need some work so it, it's something that hopefully we can get a little bit better at um, as as time goes on um, and our defense if our if our man-to-man -man defense holds serve uh, a little bit more we'll be able to afford ourselves to play a little zone anything else thank you thank you